Hey guys, this is Mike, the Detroit Borg, with the new Nest Secure Starter Kit. So this retails for $4.99, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install and use. Now, I want to thank Nest for sponsoring this video because I'm a huge fan of their products, and as you guys are aware and seen in my previous videos, I've integrated almost every Nest product in my home, from the Nest thermostat to the latest generation of indoor and outdoor security cameras. But what's been missing from that equation is a true home security alarm system, and that's where the Nest Secure really comes in to fill that gap. And just like every other Nest product, it's designed to make installation and setup simple while solving some of the problems of traditional older systems. So cracking into the box, the first thing we see when we lift the lid is the Nest Guard base station. This is essentially the brain of the system and incorporates an 85 decibel alarm speaker, lighted keypad, and a motion sensor. This is a wireless tabletop system, so all you need is to supply the power and you're ready to use it. There's no need to run wires into the walls and mount a wall panel, which makes this much easier for a homeowner to install and set up. The included power cable uses a USB connector that is specifically designed to fit flush with the base of the unit. And to prevent tampering, they've also included a lock for the power adapter, which can be screwed to a power outlet to prevent somebody from easily unplugging the Nest Guard. Alternatively, the base has an internal battery backup that will last around 12 hours on a single charge. The base can even connect to cellular networks in the event of a power or network outage to maintain full functionality. And since the base unit has a motion sensor, any movement or tampering will be detected and reported by the system. Cellular backup is available for $5 a month or $50 a year through T-Mobile. Also included are basic setup and installation instructions along with a very clear and glanceable explanation of all the components included in this kit. So at the bottom of the box is a tray full of the accessories we need for this system. First up, we get two sets of Nest Detect sensors. The larger main sensor can be used strictly as a motion sensor, but when it's paired with a small magnet it, it can also be used to detect the opening and closing of doors or windows. Now you can buy these separately if you need to add more sensors throughout the home. These are completely wireless and fastened to most surfaces with the included adhesive strips. Replacement adhesive strips can be found in the smaller box along with corner brackets and screws for installation. The batteries in the sensors are also replaceable so again you don't have to run wires to these. And lastly, we have the Nest tags, which can be assigned to an authorized user to arm or disarm the security system just by waving it over the Nest Guard base station. So before we install everything, we need to set up the components with the Nest app on our smartphone. Now, they make it very easy thanks to the QR codes on each of these devices. So the app will scan the QR code to add the components and walk you through the setup process. So the app will ask you to test out the motion sensor on the front of the Nest Guard. Now, if you have a dog smaller than 40 pounds, you can also reduce sensitivity to eliminate false alarms and because I have two Yorkies, that should work just fine. We can also name the location of the guard and assign a passcode to disarm the system. You can even add separate users with distinct passcodes and remove them later if you want to deauthorize their code. Adding the Nest tags is just as simple. You scan the QR code on the back and assign it to an authorized user. You'll be prompted to test it out and make sure it's working. And if you lose the Nest tags, you can easily disable it from the Nest apps. You don't have to worry about people having unauthorized use of the tag. And lastly, we can add the Nest Detect sensors the same way. Once you scan the QR code, you're prompted to pull the tab to activate the battery in the sensor. Next, we just have to choose the installation type, wall, window, or door. So with a wall installation, you don't need the secondary magnet, but for windows and doors, you will. Now, since I'm doing a door installation, I just have to choose the correct door style. The app will ask you to practice the alignment of the magnet and sensor to make sure you install them correctly. They have to be within a certain distance and alignment with each other to work effectively. The app also instructs you on the proper installation height so that the motion sensor will work most effectively. Next up, we can go ahead and peel off the sticker along the back and lightly attach them to the surfaces we're installing this on. This allows us to reposition them if we need to. Once we verify that everything is working in the app, we can more securely press these down to make sure they're more permanent. So with this specific setup, the sensor will detect the movement near the door and the door opening or closing. You can also enable an LED path light that illuminates when it detects movement. This only works when it's dark and you can disable this or change the intensity under settings. So to arm or disengage the alarm, we have several options. We can use the Nest tag. So all we have to do is wave the tag on top of the keypad. And this will activate the system and give you some time to exit the house before it fully engages. Alternatively, you can just press one of the lighted buttons around the keypad. Right so this allows you to engage one of the different security modes or to turn it off. Disengaging the alarm manually does require you to enter in the passcode and you'll see the keypad light up 
only when the passcode is needed. You can also arm or disarm the system from the Nest app anywhere you are. So if you forget to turn it on, you can do so from the Nest app, even if you're across the country. And the fourth way you can engage the system is using location awareness. So when you leave your house with your phone, it will prompt you through a notification on your phone to engage the system. And once you return, it also prompts you to turn it back off. Now there's actually two security modes we can activate. So with home and guarding, this will sound the alarm only if it detects doors or window sensors have been triggered. This is useful for overnight security. And if you want to exit the house without triggering those sensors, you simply hit the Nest button on the sensor to temporarily disable it. Now with full guarding enabled, any motion detected by the Nest Guard itself or the detect sensors will trigger the alarm. Any event detected by the system is immediately reported to your phone as a notification. And the security system will sound an alarm after a one minute countdown, which again, you can modify under settings. Now the Nest Guard actually illustrates the countdown using the LED light ring. So you can see how much time you have left. This gives you a chance to disable any false alarms with your passcode, Nest Tag, or the Nest app. So the alarm itself is extremely loud with a really high pitched frequency that's really designed to pierce through walls. So no matter where you place this, you can really hear it. So it's definitely gonna alert people in the house, whether they're sleeping or not. And obviously it's a pretty good deterrent as well. There's also a panic button on the back of the Nest Guard to set off the alarm as a deterrent. This is also a pretty good way of getting the attention of anybody sharing the Nest account, since they will also get a notification of the event. One of the other benefits of the Nest Guard system is how well it integrates with other smart home devices, such as Nest security cameras. So if motion is detected or the alarm goes off, it will turn on any lights that are connected to your Nest account, or it can automatically turn on all of your security cameras to start recording the event, and you have quick access to those right from the app on your phone. One of the things I really like about the Nest Secure system is that it keeps a really detailed security history. So anything that's been detected by the system is recorded right down to the exact time of day. So you can scrub through the entire history to see any motion detected, whether a door has been opened, somebody has armed or disarmed the system, a panic button has been pressed, and even if the alarm has been set off or disabled. So again, it's a really nice way of quickly glancing all of the events that have been recorded in your home. Ultimately, one of the reasons the Nest Secure system works so well for me is that not only is it really easy to install and operate, but it's also much more flexible and customizable. I can adjust the system to fit my needs over time and control and monitor it from anywhere in the world. And since the system can be better automated than a traditional security system, this makes it a more reliable solution for many people. Now, if you guys are interested in the Nest Secure, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like to let me know, and I'll see you again in my next video.